Hey fellow YouTubers, uh, thanks for joining me. Uh, hopefully you're here because the title got your attention. Before I get into Steve Jobs, uh, let me just uh, apologize for not making a straight out of Compton uh, review. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't get to see it uh, for uh, various reasons, uh, most of them being life, uh, work, and tiredness, and so I missed out on it, but I look forward to it, uh, to seeing it when it comes out on DVD. In the spirit of movies based on true stories and uh, real events that happened, uh, another Steve Jobs movie is uh, coming out in US this weekend, and um, according to my local listings, it won't come in Croatia until December. So. They got me kind of disappointed, but at the same time, I'm not fan, big fan of another Steve Jobs movie. And hopefully, uh, Steve Jobs with uh, Michael Fassbender will finally be the final bookend on that unofficial Steve Jobs trilogy. So I do look forward to seeing it bec because it's made, but I wasn't a fan of it for it being made. Uh, growing up, I wasn't sure what the difference between Apple and uh, Microsoft was. I never owned an Apple product. I'm recording this on a Microsoft phone. Um, I'm a PC guy, I love Bill Gates, and that is one of the reasons I really like the first movie in this unofficial trilogy called Pirates of Silicon Valley, released in 1999 starring Noah Wiley as Steve Jobs. Uh, you may be familiar with Noah Wiley from as uh, playing Dr. Carter in ER in the 90s and into early 2000s, I think. And then he played the librarian in the three movies and he also plays the librarian in the librarian TV series currently. Pirates of Silicon Valley is the movie I saw as preparation for Jobs movie uh, that came out two years ago and um, I was pleasantly surprised because I never heard about it until someone pointed it out to me on uh, forums or somewhere on Facebook um, in one of the movie groups and it talks about Steve Jobs uh, dropping out of Harvard and how he had the rivalry even in the co in college like he was friends with Bill Gates and later on they had this big rivalry that is touched upon like we see them literally like in this first expo in San Francisco or San Diego basically Jobs uh, stole the show with his Apple one while Steve Jobs uh, while Bill Gates only had this uh, card processing machine um, and then later on in the movie uh, we see how uh, Jobs gets fired and later on how he and how he works on this Macintosh project and the movie kind of ends with uh, Jobs being hired back to Apple and Bill Gates being at the height of his, his powers basically in 1999 like he ruled the world. And it's a movie that filled up a lot of holes for me as I was watching Jobs' movie. Uh, Jobs focused pretty much on how Steve Jobs uh, became who he was and it focused mostly on his career, not so much on his personal life. Um, even though the movie mentions Lisa too, and I gotta be honest, I think my cousin had Lisa 2 computer, but I could be wrong, and I don't really remember that, but uh, it was one of those things that actually, like, in Jobs' movie, he, he does like, he knows, like, he has a daughter, but he doesn't really acknowledge that, except at that one point where he says that he named that computer project after his daughter. While in Pirates of Silicon Valley, you actually get to see his relationship with his daughter and how they connected later on in life. So, the two, when you watch just Jobs, like, you get only one part of the story. When you watch Pirates of Silicon Valley, you get three other parts of the story that 
you didn't even know existed or thought about them much. And there are parts, and they literally, literally fill up each other's holes. And they make a nice little, nice, nice collection. So when it comes to T Jobs with Michael Fassbender, written by Aaron Sorkin and directed by Danny Boyle, I hope they fill up more holes and that they close the chapters. I I want them to finish this trilogy like Return of the Jedi finished up uh, Star Wars. I think uh, Jobs deserves it and I think we don't need another Steve Jobs movie in the span of three years. I really don't think we need it. Uh, I'll probably go see them when they come, if they make them, but I think this should be the last Steve Jobs movie for the next 10 years, uh, at least. So let's be thankful Steve Jobs existed, that he made our lives better. Let me know if you saw Pirates of Silicon Valley, because I know not many people did see it, and I would like, like to know your thoughts. and. Go see Steve Jobs this weekend and uh, tell me how you liked it and if it uh, filled up the holes you thought it would or wouldn't and how you liked the whole unofficial trilogy because I like to think of it that way and hopefully I get to see that movie sooner rather than later too. Uh, have a great weekend. Peace out.